Hello everyone and welcome to BHC Studios. Today we'll be taking a look at this Oberworth camera sling bag. The official name is the Photo Backpack Sling. This is a beautiful bag. I do have an unboxing video that I did initially and so I played around with it for a couple hours in my studio. Decided to play around to see how much I can pack this out and you guys know that often I do these videos where I'm out and about with Camera Girl and I will show you like a real world use case and I will shoot that video very shortly but I was just curious of a bag of this size how much can you really put in here because you know for $649 US Oberworth makes premium camera bags and some people might be wondering well you know is it worth you know what am I paying for for $649 well you're paying for materials you're paying for build quality and you're paying for hardware so they do use all full grain leather and that in itself makes it very expensive as well as high-end hardware for instance right here you can see if you're into sort of buckles and hardware in bags this is the Cobra Pro style uh, buckle by Austri Alpine. And so you see how this works here. Let's show you quickly. Yeah, this cannot fail, meaning if you press one side, it will not come out. So you press this in both sides, and there you go, it comes out. See that? So both sides up, and then this comes out on its own. So this is a fail safe kind of buckle. These buckles are not cheap. And as well, they use a nice kind of a, a, a ribbed cotton strap instead of using a leather strap, which I think makes a lot of sense. And as well, as you can tell by these little side flaps, I mean, look at the quality build here. This is sort of a adjustable. So depending on, you know, if it's on your back, then I guess it becomes a backpack and it does have this kind of this uh, mesh material in the back to absorb any kind of sweat. So you have this padded mesh mesh on the back here and as well on the other side you have the same sort of movable uh, kind of a movable strap system with these little these side wings I guess you can call it and so you have the side pockets on both side and then you have the front pocket and then you have your main compartment and no back zip at least I don't see no there's no back zipper here which makes sense because this is on your back and then you have this mesh here then where can you put maybe a little hidden pocket on the side here maybe I don't know but here you go so this is the close-up look of this bag and as you can see this is just a really beautiful bag if I can maybe offer one little suggestion is that on the main uh, upper section here, it would be nice if they had maybe like two little grommets here. So if you wanted to zap strap it or put a little, like a little baby lock or something like a kind of a loop, maybe just for peace of mind, if you are worried about security. But I think that's something that maybe uh, you can do yourself if you have a, a, someone that does leather repair to put little grommets in these little pull tabs or just replace the pull tabs and put your own in but overall the build quality of this bag is really nice and you can tell that the quality is right up there with any other kind of a premium product and so let's just quickly go in here see what's inside here and we will start off um, maybe with the main compartment yeah let's start off with the main compartment here so so as I mentioned this is uh, the interior compartment here is four liters uh, but that doesn't include the side section and the little front pocket here. Sides are definitely dimensioned. And so, first of all, on the top lid here, you have two memory card holders. And it does just say Oberworth made in Germany. And I would probably would rather have a mesh pocket up here with maybe a little zipper instead of these two little card holders. I don't think I would ever use this here. So, maybe a see-through mesh pocket Oberworth would be nice with a little zipper here. But if you did do that, I mean, I do have everything kind of... As you can see almost right to the top then you would have to make this bag a little bit taller which I would be okay with but that's my first thing and you can see I have this completely packed out movable dividers here and so the first thing here I have is a M7 with a TT Artisan sort of a 28 Sumeron uh, sort of homage lens and so because this lens is so flat it does fit in nicely in like this and as I showed you when I first started off usually I will have a camera with me around my neck and then this bag will be on my side or on my back so this is kind of how I would carry it this is my main camera while I'm out and about and then because I'm using the M system I would have a film camera with me and then here is a 35 Summicron lens here and the reason why it's not in its case is because I do have another lens in here 
which is the uh, GW4. So it's a Ricoh GR ultra wide lens that makes the GR3 and from a 28 equivalent to a 21 equivalent. So that's kind of why I have this out of the case. If not, I would just have this in its own little leather pouch. But again, I'm just showing you how I can completely pack this out. So I have it kind of stacked like this, or if I have like a sock or some small little pouch, I can kind of put it in sideways like this to make for more room. All right, and now on this side here, I have my Nikon 35 Ti right here on a Wotencraft leather camo strap and has a monogram here, BHT. So that fits in here. And then I have two Japan Camera Hunter uh, film holders that fit in here. So that's quite a bit of stuff. As you can see, you could put in this four liter section here. And as you can see in the back, there is a hidden zipper section. Now for me, having a, an actual zipper here would make me a little bit worried of what I have up against here. So again, I would maybe recommend either some kind of a, a flap or maybe not even a zipper back here, just a little slip in the back. And what I have here is just a, a Clever Supply uh, money pouch and a extra wallet here that I can quickly access and you know have it safely in behind here so it's not gonna, so I don't have to worry about being pickpocketed. So that's the main compartment in here, four liters. All right, so let's close this up. Now, actually, before I close it up, I'm gonna show you what's, so these two side pouches are not of equal size. This one here, now it does, if you can see, it will kind of find its way into the com main compartment here based on what you put here. But look what I can actually fit in here. Rico GR3 with a um, with an Angelo Pele uh, half case on here and a YB Prutro strap. I like the strap because see that? It allows you to use this threading and you use this here to kind of open it up and pass it through. But this here will fit. So if I can just show you here, see how my hand is kind of in here. So it does kind of encroach on here, but as you saw, the adapter, the lens, and then the GR can still fit. See that? The GR can still fit through here like that and you can close it up, right? So actually this pocket here is bigger than it looks. In fact, I even did a test where I can, I can even put uh, one of the uh, film holders in the side here. But again, it is kind of encroaching in on here. And also this is kind of a weird spot to put a film holder. So I think a GR3 for quick access on the side is fine. All right, pull these out. And then on this side here, what I have is I have my, my Letterman Free T4 multi-tool. And then here I have the Fujifilm EF-X20 flash unit on the side. So again, things I want quick access. And this is a little bit smaller and it doesn't encroach upon the inside here, see that? So it's a little bit, this pocket here is quite a bit smaller. And then finally we have the front section here. Let's open it up. I have a little wireless anchor charger for my iPhone. I have the Ulanzi J20 so I can do quick YouTube videos when I'm out and about. And then I have a little Olight flashlight that has a UV light as well as a regular flashlight, a Sharpie, and then a pen. And that's about it in the front section here. So let's just move the bag out of the way. Look at all the stuff. Look at all the stuff. I was able to have inside this tiny little bag right here. So this bag is actually, you know, it is small. So like I said, it's probably around five, five and a half liter. But I think for a lot of photographers, uh, maybe like a 3.5 liter Wotencraft pilot is a little bit too small. The seven liter Wotencraft uh, pilot bag is a little bit too big. This is just the right size. And so Oberworth, they do make other bags that are not full leather. And maybe what I would recommend to Oberworth is that this is beautiful and I think it is worth the $650 based on the build quality. Because if you look at the fashion industry, if you're looking at high quality, all handmade leather bags, not necessarily camera bags, but, but full grain leather bags that are made in Germany or made in Italy or made in France, 
they're not going to be under $1,000, right? These bags are, you know, from a fashion brand, these are three, four, five, six, seven, ten thousand dollars $10,000. And so you are getting what you pay for, especially with this really nice hardware as well. Like these buckles are not cheap. But what I may recommend is that if they can make a Cordura version of this bag, so mostly Cordura with some leather accents, and then drop this price from $650. So have a all leather version like this for $650 and then a Cordura version for maybe $400. I think that bag would do quite well. There are people who maybe prefer not to have a leather bag. It is nice with this mesh material on the back so you're not having leather up against your body, having this little, this little breathable mesh material. But as well for some people, maybe they just would rather have a kind of canvas or Cordura material. And with that, they could maybe put little straps down here or the ability to add straps so you can still put a jacket or a water bottle or something you can attach on the bottom. And so that's my suggestion, but I mean, this is for me, the nicest camera sling that I've ever reviewed from any brand. I, I really love this. This is just perfect for this kind of carry on a day off when I'm out with camera girls. Let's put everything back. Finally, I have the M7 with the Sumeron, imitation Sumeron. And then we can just close this up like this. And here we go. Fully packed out. Again, I may not necessarily use it like this, but I just want to show as an example of how much stuff you can actually fit inside this Oberworth camera sling. And so thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below. But again, this I'm still in my studio. I haven't actually gone out and shot with this, but I just I just can't believe how much stuff this can hold. I'm going to really have a good time. And also, I wish that they would do different colors. So this is black with the red interior. And this is part of their red dot edition. And so there is another... Now this bag is much, you know what, I can't even show you the size of it. This is called the Weekender, and this is a beautiful kind of a weekend bag, but it has a little secret weapon here. It has a little side slot with a huge camera cube on the inside. So this will be a different video, or just check my unboxing video, but this bag here is so awesome. I'm so glad that they sent this to me. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Again, questions down below. We'll talk to you soon, and happy shooting.